Hello, I'm Mark McElroy. I'm here to talk about uh, my BMW i3. Um, I plan to do a few of these videos uh, just to uh, kind of be the videos that I was looking for when I was looking for these videos before I found, before I bought my car. Um, not that I have any regrets buying the car. It's a great car so far. I love it. But uh, information is power, so let's talk about power. Okay, so I'm going to talk about uh, the uh, three levels of electric car charging, which are actually four. Um, it's um, misnamed a little bit. Uh, so level one, so uh, I'll name it the way that uh, the literature names it, but I'll explain why there's actually four. Level one is this. Um, North American wall voltage, 120 volts at 8 amps. Uh, this comes with the car, and um, it's what they call trickle charging sometimes, or a slow charger. Uh, it will take 14 plus hours to fully charge my uh, BMW i3. Um, as you uh, probably know, that one of the few equations that people actually remember from school is um, volts times amps equals watts. Um, so 120 volts at 8 amps is, sorry about my math skills, something under a kilowatt. Um, 960? You do the math. Um, not, not that powerful when we talk about charging an electric car. Uh, it takes a long time to charge. So, um, most people long for level 2. Now, level two is when we step up to not 120 volts, but 240 volts, which is the higher system in North America. Uh, what we run our appliances in our home on, a lot of our appliances, uh, um, especially electric stoves, uh, dryers, things that have a, a high amp draw. So you double the voltage, uh, even at, at double voltage the same amperage will yield more watts which is a way to keep the amperage down. That's why we have that other system in the US. But also, uh, in the case of level two charging, or what I'll call level 2.1, because it's the first kind of level two, uh, we step up the voltage to 240 and we step up the amperage to 16. And so, um, math-wise, by doubling both sides, both, not sides, uh, both uh, values in that equation, when we get our, our, our watts, it's going to be something under, more than tripling, something under, um, is it would be quadrupling? Nearly. Uh, but something under uh, 4 kilowatts. Uh, now we're talking about a decent charge. We're, we move that 14 to 16 hour full charge down to a 6-ish uh, hour charge. And then there's level 2.2. The other kind of level two charging, why they named it like that, I don't know, but where uh, the amperage uh, doubles, but the uh, the voltage stays the same. So it's 32 amps at uh, 240 volts, and that will be um, that will give you a not quite as impressive increase, but by uh, by increasing the amperage, uh, doubling the amperage, we will get a faster charge. Real world. Um, that tends to be a four and a half hour charge instead of a six hour charge for a full charge for the i3. So, um, I decided to go with the level 1.1, the uh, 16 amp, uh, sorry, level 2.1, the 16 amp uh, level 2 charge. Um, because I had an existing 30 amp line in my house that wasn't being used since I took out an uh, electric uh, stove and um, I was able to just redirect that to a uh, receptacle. I put in a, um, I guess what you call an air conditioner plug or some people call it a welder, welder plug, you know, just a, a, the smaller looking, not the drier plug, weird thing, but um, a 220 uh, plug um, for the, uh, that would be fine for 16 amp. Um, and, um, it ended up being very low cost. It cost me about $20 uh, in parts, and I, I did the work myself. Going to the um, the 32 amp, you would have to put that on a 50 amp breaker. You might have to um, you have to upgrade the wire you use. 
you might have to upgrade, you have to put a new breaker in your box. You might, at that point, have to upgrade the box. An electrician will come to your house to do this work, and uh, they'll need to make their boat payment or some other um, bit of extravagance, and they'll be like, oh, all this has to go. You need a new box. You need a new service from the street. And it, it turns into a $2,000 project. And, and commonly, when people pay an electrician to come and uh, um, to put in these um, these 220 volt um, uh, charging uh, plugs, a lot of people report that uh, it cost $400 or something. And it's pretty common if you had to get an electrician to your house. But some people can uh, use a dryer receptacle if you have an unused uh, or an old air conditioner receptacle and an unused um, uh, 30 amp breaker. Um, 220 uh, can be repurposed uh, to car charging and in my case that's what I did and it was very inexpensive and it works well the difference between the 32 amp and 16 amp systems that extra hour and a half of faster charging you get in real life essentially is, is very little because there's never a situation where you're just sitting waiting for your car to charge if there is you gotta go to a DC fast charger somewhere on the road and luckily I have one that's not that far from my house so if I really like oh damn I'm running on empty here I gotta I gotta juice up I could just pay for a fast charging session somewhere and, and it would cost a lot less than the two thousand dollars to upgrade my uh, breaker panel to put in a uh, 220 volt uh, 50 amp breaker so um, I'm gonna make a couple more videos about this oh in level three which it would be level four in my system, but it's level three. Um, that's DC to DC. I just alluded to that, which is um, DC to DC is much faster. It can charge in 20 to 40 minutes, depending on how, how low battery you have left. So um, that's my basic talk on, ch on charging. Um, if you find yourself using your car very little, you can um, get away with using the household charger. If you're driving 30, 40 miles a day, charging overnight. Um, if you step up to the 16 amp, 240 volt, it's perfectly reasonable. And if you want to, you know, squeeze those extra couple of amp, a uh, couple of watts out of your system, then uh, you can do a big upgrade and put in a um, 32 amp charger. I'll also, I uh, I went for the. Um, the aftermarket non-BMW uh, charging cable. Uh, the actual conversion is done inside the car. So um, the cable does very little work. Um, and uh, I spent $140 on it rather than the $600. Um, and uh, so far, so good. So um, I'll do more videos about charging and some more videos about the i3. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.